All right, hello. And we are going to continue the practice quiz for module six. Uh, we left off finishing or completing question number six. We're gonna go and move on to question number seven. So in question number seven, it says write the point slope form, point slope form. Immediately before even finishing the question, I know that the form has to be y minus y1 equals m parenthesis x minus x1. This is where you have your keep keep change. So write the point slope form of the equation of the line through the given point with a given slope. Okay, so they give us a point. They give us slope. Now, like I mentioned, we're not really creative how these things are called. So if we have a point and a slope in a point slope form, that means we have all the information that we need. So I'm going to rewrite this here. So we have y minus y1. I'm going to put y1 in parentheses equals m parentheses x minus x1. And again, I'm going to put x1 in parentheses. This is where we have our keep, keep, change. So keep, keep, change. You have your slope. We have your keep, keep, change. Now I put arrows here just to show you that where these uh, numbers are going to go. So we have slope. Slope is little m. So slope is negative 2 thirds. The point we did not label, make sure you're labeling it x1, y1. So y1 is negative 3. This is why parentheses are important. x1 is, oh, I think I made a, nope. Nope, that's correct. For a moment there, I thought one didn't have a negative, but it turns out both of them have negatives. So x1 is also negative 3. Now, immediately I'm noticing things that are making me happy because I see two negatives. Two negatives make a positive. Same thing here. Two negatives make a positive. y plus 3 is equal to negative 2 thirds. x plus 3. Now, we have to ask ourselves, is this in point slope form? Do we have y minus y1 equals m parenthesis x minus x1? And we do. Although we don't have minuses here, those minuses disappeared when we put in a negative number. So that is okay. This here is in point slope form. So don't do too much work. Make sure you understand what form your final answer should look like. So this is the answer for number seven. We're going to move on to number eight. It is on the other side. Write the point slope form. Again, point slope form. So I'm going to just off to the side. Y minus Y1 equals M parenthesis X minus X1. Just so I know what my final answer is supposed to look like. Of the equation of each line given a slope and Y intercept. Ooh, okay, so slope we know is little m. Y intercept, remember when we were talking about earlier, what is, what does it mean to be an intercept? Well, an intercept is a point. Specifically, a Y intercept is where X is equal to zero. So this point with Y intercept being two is X is zero, Y is two. So here's X, here's Y. So in order to write this equation in point slope form, I'm going to rewrite the formula. And this is where we have our keep, keep, change. Keep, keep, change. Slope. Keep, keep, change. So y1, I don't know what y1 is because I didn't label it. So let me do x1, y1. So y1 is 2. x1 is 0. And my slope they tell me what my slope is, so my slope is 5. So here I have y minus 2 is equal to 5. x take away nothing is just x. So you may choose to leave that in parentheses. I don't know if you heard that, but there's a child screaming outside. Don't mind that. Okay, so x take away nothing is just x. So this is our final form. Right over here it says sketch the graph of each line. So you have options here. You may choose to do 
uh, the X and Y, you may choose to do the X and Y intercept. Plot those points, oh, that should say an X. Or option two. Now option two is specific for standard form. Now we know this is in standard form because we have AX plus BY equals C. We don't have any fractions and A is positive. So in order for standard form to graph the opposite of A over B, or we can multiply by a negative, that is our slope. Our y-intercept is C over B. So this right here is, in my opinion, the easier way. As long as you remember this, you're good. You don't have to do too much work with it, y and the x-intercept. So the opposite of A over B, in this case, A, the opposite of A is 2, B is 1. So we have the opposite of a positive 2 over 1, or negative times 2. So we just have 2 over 1 as our slope. The y-intercept is we take 1 over b. So we have c over b, which is 1 divided by 1, which is just 1. Now again, what does it mean to be a y-intercept? That is a point where x is equal to 0. So this y-intercept looks like, oh, that should be a parenthesis. It should look like 0, comma, 1. So 0, comma, 1 is our y-intercept. So here it is. Then our slope is down to right 1. So down to right 1. 1, 2 over 1. Now, how many points does it take to create a line? Just two. You only need two points. After that, grab a ruler. Make sure it's super straight. If you don't have a ruler, just use the edge of a piece of paper, your binder, whatever you need in order to make this line straight. Try your best to line it up. Now, make sure that you have arrows. Arrows are super duper important. If you don't have arrows, you will be missing out on points. Make sure you have a continuous function and it shows that it's continuous by arrows on both sides.